It's important to check in with your health, and one way is to stay on top of your screenings. Dr. Eric Brooks is radiation oncologist and assistant professor with UF Health Proton Therapy Institute. And I got to see you uh, at the actual institute, but we're so happy to have you at First Coast Living. Thank you for joining us. No, thank you so much for having me here again. Yeah, so let's talk about uh, lung cancer screening specifically first and why that is recommended highly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so lung cancer screening has been a huge talking point in the past couple of years because there have been a number of trials that came out oh. and showed that for people who have a pretty substantial or long smoking history, um, actually going through getting these low-dose screening scans can actually reduce the chance of dying from lung cancer by 20%. Really? And so now um, the United States Task Force has announced and really supports doing this screening for people that are between the age of 50 and 80 okay. that have had uh, about 20 pack years or more of smoking over their lifetime, mm -hmm. which is usually the packs per day multiplied by the number of years that they've smoked, okay. um, and who have not quit within the past 15 years. And so we're seeing a lot of lives getting saved by this type of initiative. Mm -hmm. And so those are the recommendations, though, if they're a smoker and if they've had cer certain many, certain packs or the age. I mean, is screening recommended necessarily outside of that or mainly for those people? Right now, mainly for those people, okay. but there's a lot of look that's going into what other type of risk factors may eventually in the future right. allow us to identify others who may be at higher risk, just like we've done um, by looking at genetic tests for breast cancer, like mm -hmm. we've done at looking other, at other exposure risks for other types of cancers. Um, and one thing that a lot of us in the lung community are focused on right now is uh, vaping right. and uh, e-cigarettes and things that have really become more popular in the mainstream today. Mm -hmm. And I feel like sometimes, and I don't know if this is accurate, but it seems like when they switch over to vaping to try and stop the smoking, they end up vaping, smoking more, it seems like, because it's just so readily available. Yeah, I don't know. And it doesn't smell, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm glad you talked about that, too. How often should someone be screened? So these folks that I just mentioned, mm -hmm. you know, if you're over the age of 50, um, you have that 20 pack year smoking history or more and you haven't quit in the past 15 years, really talk to your doctor okay. and think about getting screened about once per year is what they recommend. Okay, and then let's talk about breast cancer screening, another very important one. They're all important, but uh, this one seems to be you know, a huge one. Um, what is the current recommendation right now? Yeah, so actually the United States Task Force last updated their recommendations back in 2016, and mm -hmm. they're actually doing an update right now on oh. what they recommend. But when you look at a lot of the information that's come out in studying this, um, we've been very fortunate to have saved over half a million women wow. with mammogram screening. Um, what we recommend is that women at the age of 40 start talking with their doctors about beginning screening at that age, mm -hmm. um, usually doing mammograms once a year. Okay. And once you reach age 55, um, we recommend considering uh, doing it every other year if that's something that the doctor and you feel or uh, is reasonable and appropriate. Right. Um, but we really do advise women continue to get screened annually or yearly mm -hmm. um, up until the point where they might have other medical conditions that become more important than the risk of developing breast cancer. Okay. Um, so life expectancy of 10 years or more, which oh. of course, nobody has a crystal ball. So <laughs> right, uh, we true. really want people to continue talking with their doctors about it. Okay, and where can folks get more information on breast cancer screening? Yeah, so there's a tremendous amount of great resources out there. Mm -hmm. One that we just launched um, in partnership with some Florida societies to support grant funding for breast cancer research um, is called MyRiskBreastCancer.com. Okay. Um, Susan G. Komen is another excellent resource uh, for those that are uh, familiar. I think many are familiar um, with that uh, organization. Uh, but really, you know, I think talking to your doctor about what they recommend because there are some women who might be younger, even less than age 40, who right. have certain risk factors that put them into a different group, and they very well might be advised to begin even earlier than age 40. Okay. So it's just important to keep going for that annual visit. I know we're getting into the spring, summer months. Yes. Make that appointment um, to go get your well checkup with your doctor, and I think this is a great talking point um, for women that are going in for that annual um, care. Okay, and that website again, MyRiskBreastCancer.com. Is there anything else we should know about that? I haven't heard of this website before. Yeah, this is one that we just put out there in the okay. past year. Um, and there's actually an app that you can download oh. on your phone as well. Um, I think there's an app for everything these right. days. <laughs> um, uh, pretty soon there'll be an app that screens you for, uh, for yourself by the phone. Wouldn't that um, be cool? But ultimately, I think, you know, what's unique about this app is there's some videos on there. There's some oh, additional wonderful. education and information um, outside of just being able to 
use the calculator that we've designed mm -hmm. um, where you can enter in some of your family history, your age, um, other risk factors that might be important and it'll tell you whether or not you fit into a certain risk group and then you can take that to talk with your doctor about what that means. Wow, that's so fascinating. Yeah. Uh, wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us today and reminding everyone to go get screened. So thank you again. Thank you. <laughs> and thank if you'd you. like to see this interview again, just head to our website and that's firstcoastliving.net.